Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to part 5 of my rhyme walkthrough. Um, people complained last time that the uh, audio wasn't very good so this time I'm recording the audio from a separate source and uh, hopefully that will resolve any of the audio issues that we had previously. So that said, um, let's continue with this game. This is part 5, last time we uh, finished we were in the clouds so Let's continue from there and it will start with a cutscene before we go into any gameplay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is sped up by uh, 20 times uh, to get through the loading bit and we find ourselves now in a completely different location uh, to where we were. We're in some sort of building now, um, maybe all of that was just a dream. So let's get on. This looks as though they're um, people perhaps from Pompeii or frozen in time. Oh. Oh dear, that's interesting. Well, let's do some mindless vandalism then and um, smash a few of these up and see if we can uh, do anything by uh, by breaking them all down. There's quite a few of them by the looks of it. Um, quite sure what this is doing, but it's certainly releasing something. I'm not seeing where the stuff we're releasing is going to. It just seems to vaporize into thin air. So where is all that stuff going and what are we actually achieving? And do we need to do it? Well let's do it anyway. Um, it certainly isn't going to hurt. We must need to do it because otherwise we wouldn't be allowed to. That's one thing in this game that I have found is that um, if you're not doing things that um, the game wants you to, it doesn't tend to let you proceed any further. So uh, yeah, we'll crack on. Not too many more to get. Um, with a bit of luck, um, get these and then we should be able to move forward. Okay, so the last few... Lost count of how many there was. Right. Okay. I think that's it. Yep. Nothing more there. No, no more there. Right. Okay. We're done. We can move on. What's that up there? Uh, nothing. Okay. No, definitely nothing. Alright then. Alright, let's move forward. Okay, that's weird. There's like people standing on the um, on the top there. Are they people or are they? They look like people. Really strange. Hmm. Not sure what that's all about. Okay, well. Let's keep um, keep moving forward, and I don't think I can get up there. And they certainly don't seem as though they're going to attack me. So yeah, perhaps we'll just run through. Ah, oh, and there's a fox. Our somewhat useless guide, who again is running ahead of me, and I'm sure will just disappear any second now, as he usually does. Okay, it's a big chair, and there's the fox, he wants me to follow him, 
and continue to follow him through. But where are we going? There's quite a lot of running around going on in this game. Don't seem to be doing too much other than running around at the moment. There's the old um, bird poo again that we have to follow. Always follow the poo. Right, and keep going down here. Where are you going, Fox? Am I going through that gap? No, I'm not, by the looks of it. Nope. nope. Won't let me through the gap. Nope, just still too big, even though I've got through other holes. Um, right, now we're going to have to climb up somewhere. A little bit dark on this patch. Um, it's not as easy to see. But on the um, outside bits, it was plenty bright enough, so I'm reluctant to... Um, to change any of the uh, the settings on here to brighten it up, and we're in a cutscene now, um, so I have no control over what's happening. Okay, back in control of it again now. And um, where are we going? Okay, yep, yeah, we can. Go down here, I notice the fox has disappeared on us again. Ah, there he is. And more running. Okay. He does seem to be staying with us this time, which he hasn't done previously. And we're back outside again. As you can see, it's plenty bright enough out here, so I would imagine the, um, the dark pouch that we were just in are meant to be in, uh, and meant to be that dark. And he's now on the wall. Nothing like sitting on the wall, hey, Fox? Uh, what have we got here? Uh, it's a bit of a uh, rollerball. Oh, that's interesting. The, um, the light's changing. Right. I'm not quite sure what that's doing because the camera angle won't change. Kind of fixed to there while I'm pushing it. Okay. Um, I can see a silhouette of a doorway there at the back. Oh, is that lined up? Yep, that's lined up. Perfect. And here's the fox. And here's a big bird. Whoa. Am I going to fly on this bird? I'm guessing not. He's not very friendly. Ah, yep. Big feathered. Gimp, where are you going with my ball? All that time the ball's been sitting there and then all of a sudden now, because I want it, he wants it. A little bit childish if you ask me, but there you go. Right. You've taken my ball, so I'm going to have to go get it, I guess. Right, here we go. Operation Retrieve the Ball. Hmm. This doesn't look promising. No, nope. change of plan. We're not going to retrieve the ball. This is now Operation Run Away Quickly and not get eaten by the big angry bird. Whoa. That must have stung a bit. I bet he's got sand in places he never knew he had. Right. We're down here, clearly. Now, what are we going to do while we're here? Okay, so. Um, what's my screen red for? Hmm. That's weird. Right. I'm um, not quite sure what we're meant to be doing now, but um, yeah, we'll have a run around. I'm guessing the objective is to um, get the gold ball back, but maybe it's not. I'm kind of a little bit confused now as to what our objective is um, and why my screen keeps going red. Okay, uh, slightly weird. It's one of the things that I have found with this game is that at certain points you don't actually seem to know what your objective is um, as for now I'm kind of running around and not really seeing what ah here we go we've got um, we've got a key by the looks of it to um, to get our way through so we need to find the key for this door which um, is probably going to be out here somewhere so more running around to try and and find the key. It's a little bit disappointing. Um, 
not really enjoying this too much at the moment. It seems though the game has gone from puzzles to um, lots of mindless running around with uh, any main objective really. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll um, we'll keep going. I'm hoping at some point there will be uh, be a point to all of this running around and. Uh, it will uh, bring us on to, to something a little bit more interesting. Um, oh, I see what the red is now. The red seems to be every time the bird flies over me. Um, but it doesn't seem as though he actually does anything to me when he flies over, so... I'm not really sure if that's... Oh, well, shouldn't have said that. Looks as though he does do something when he flies over you. He picks you up and takes you away and eats you. Which, um, probably not great. So, that's what... Ah, right, okay, so that's what all this is about. These, um, these sheltered areas are safety zones. So where you're running between, you need to map out your route of where you're going to go to avoid getting eaten by the big angry bird. Which makes a little bit more sense in some ways, I guess. Although I've already run down here, so... We're kind of going around in circles a bit at the moment. Need to try and work out what exactly I'm going to do. I think I might speed the video up at this point until um, we get to somewhere where it may be more interesting. Um, otherwise you're going to watch me running around in a big circle for ages getting eaten by a big angry bird. Which is probably not as entertaining as it sounds. Ah, here we go. Looks as though there's somewhere here. Run, Forest! Oh, no. Fortunately, Forest didn't run fast enough. Well, let's um, let's speed things along. Because I don't think we're going to make it to that door. Uh, there's no post. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. No. Okay, not meant to be going to that door at this point. There's obviously got to be another plan. Right. Let's try and work it out. Okay, we've been sped up and we've found the fox again. So I'm imagining we are at the right place, which is good because I was getting a little bit fed up of chasing around in a big circle. Okay, so we're down here, there's some more glyphs on the wall. Um, not entirely sure what they mean, but. Uh, We'll head down and keep looking. Oh, we've got an action. Triangle. Okay, what did that do? That shifted the wall a bit. It's almost a, uh, it's a revolving door type thing. Yeah, I can see here. So, need to rotate the door around. Not that way by the looks of it. Uh, let's try... It's not activated at the corner. Right. Um, Okay, I wonder if it'll activate on the edges. It seems to be connected in the centre. Okay, so as long as I'm within shouting range of it, it should activate. So let's try shouting. There we go. Okay, and run around a bit more and shout again. Okay, and we're through. Fantastic. Okay, this makes more sense. So now we're going down to. Ah! Oh. And shout at the flames and they light the room up better. I oh, wish I'd known that earlier, that would have made it a lot easier to find your way around. Let there be light. Okay. So, there's the key. Fantastic. Right, we're back in business again. We have ourselves a key. Which means we can get through the door. Which means no more running around with the big bird chasing us. So, that's good news. And. Okay, we don't have to go out the way we came, we can go out a different way. Oh, what's this? Another cutscene. So, the windmill does something that creates lightning that zaps the big bird. I like that plan. I think we can um, we can agree that's a, that's a way forward. Right. So, ah, here we go. Up and out. And I can see a windmill in the distance there spinning, which is probably going to be our next location. 
once we get through the door but the bird is still here and he's still chasing us around now where was the door oh no way no way he still managed to get me even though I was um, pretty much undercover there a little bit sneaky right okay um, I guess we're just gonna have to leg it so we go between the um, points of cover and just run it or maybe to the... Uh, I don't know right, let's, let's, let's run it and see because he's just flown over it gives us a chance, gives us a few seconds head start so we run to this for cover and then on to the door right go little dude run 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 yes there we are okay let's get that door open and see what's inside hopefully it'll be some big lightning gun and we can blast his ass out the air fingers crossed okay nothing ah there we go and we are in let's light this room up a bit and there's the bird we've got uh, what's this going to do ok it's going to raise that and opens the door fantastic ok what does that do oh I see that's light activated so once that raises that cuts the light out and then that makes the door raise fantastic so it's a timed uh, it's a timed event so I need to make sure that I'm fairly fast on the um, on the time with this so we get nearer the steps see if we can shout at the uh, thing no it's not going to let's do it from there we need to come down a little bit so we can still do it from there right let's go run and still open and still open can we get through it yes we're through perfect all right through out oh, and we're locked in we're locked in now so whatever we're gonna do we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to make sure we get this right if we want to get out otherwise we are stuck oh, another interesting puzzle okay where do we go with this one okay so um, got a new puzzle here um, not quite sure what it's meant to do are the things on the walls are they anything to do with it or is that overcomplicating something that's quite simple? Because before, when I thought they'd been complicated, they turned out to be very simple. I wonder if that's the case this time. Okay, Just keep shouting the ball to come around. Ah, there we go. Well, that was it. Oh, hang on. What's going on there? Um, what just happened then? Okay. Oh, I'm confused again. I really don't understand this. It just did what it was meant to do, but now it's not doing it. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Ah. What? Oh. Alright, I'm confused. Stand by while we have some high speed video of me trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay, so it turns out you bring the globe around to where the sensor is on the other side, then stand in front of this one and jump up. And it is simple as that. 
why I decided I needed to make it so complex, I really don't know. But um, yeah, that was um, that was some impressive stupidity there on my part. Um, it's a very simple case of rotating the globe to where the second sensor was. Once it's in front of that, then you go in front of the sensor on the uh, side where the exit is, and you are there. You are done. It's that simple. Okay, we are back outside again, and I can see the birds flying around because the screen's going red. Now, okay, so what do we need to do? Right, so over the wall, and the bird's still flying around, so I need to be a little bit cautious because I, um, I don't want to get caught out here. And again, we're following the poo. Where the poo is, is the uh, pathway forward. Okay, uh, what can we do in here? Nothing really. Um, okay. No, there's nothing there. Let's try jumping across. Again, again. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Um, nothing here. That's weird. Right, so now what? Jump over the wall, maybe? No. No. Well, maybe. Let's try it. Yep, you can. You can jump over the wall. Oh, it's okay. It's a bit random. And just dropped another edge piece down, and there's another one of these to pull out. So let's get that out. More black smoke, by the looks of it. Okay, it's out and up goes the black smoke. Oh, and it's creating a cloud. And there's that big fairy bastard up there. Ah, zap, got your ass. See how you like it now. That's what you get for messing with me. Oh, he's not dead. Well, that's slightly annoying. I thought we'd killed him. Oh well. Yeah, still gave him a uh, the shock of his life. And here's the fox, he's back again with yet more misdirection I'm sure and where would he like us to run off to this time okay so we chase down and uh, see where we go again we've just completed that um, that task but now I have no clue what the uh, the next task is it's again one of these situations where you're never really sure what the missions are and what are these things these are the things that were up on the side when we um, first came through. So are they bad? Are they good? Or oh, they disappear when you run near them. Weirdos, weirdos everywhere. That's right, weirdo run. Okay, I'm not sure what we're doing there. We actually are in a game where we have no objective. The objective seems to be to find out what the objective is. And yeah, right, okay. We'll go over this way and see what's over here. Oh, the bird. So we've got to stay within the dark area because if we go outside of the dark area, then Big Bird comes after us. So we need to stay here with the weirdos. And right okay so I think that's where we went through the door and we used the key initially it looks like it is it yes it is that's where we initially went through I think anything different in here now no it doesn't appear to be um, door at the top is still closed and uh, reopened so it's definitely the place where we came in earlier so we'll Okay, I'm a loss. I don't really know where we're going to go from here. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next. Um, right. That's a little bit bizarre. Uh, let's have a hunt around then. Maybe there's a uh, another doorway somewhere that we need to find a key for. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure where that is at this time. But uh, Oh yes, there was this pit over here, wasn't there? 
Couldn't get through before because of the um, bird, but now we've got a fighting chance because the shadow is quite close. So if we run through, and yes, we're in. Okay. So we are somewhere different. Light like the room up a little bit. Okay, is things crawling on the walls. And what's forward then? It's um, right. Okay. So oh, I can't really see. Oh, right. Can't see too well in here. So going to need to be a little bit careful. Um, seems as though you can just walk off a random edge, which is not ideal. So let's um. See if we can get the torches to light the room up a little bit better. Uh, help us find our way around. This looks as though this is the bird's temple or somewhat. Oh, need to jump over this one. And okay, let's get these lit up. And this one. And another gap to jump. And another gap. Oh, blimey, that was close. And let's get these lit up as well. Okay. So what can we see? So it literally is just a room that we're working our way around. And uh, into another corridor with yet more lights to uh, to light up. And we're down. Okay. Oh, got some vase. Right, okay, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing at the point at this point. Um I'd imagine we are just exploring. That would seem to be um, seem to be the case. We seem to just be exploring this uh, this ruin. So there's anything in here? Nothing in here either. Wow, this this game. I'm really really trying to like it, but it's it just seems to not have any real direction it feels like a, it's a bit artsy and because it's a bit artsy we're supposed to kind of forgive the shortcomings on it um, unfortunately oh, I don't really subscribe to that kind of thing just because something's artsy doesn't make it good in my mind um, yeah I, I'm not really sure what we're doing with this so we just found a broken piece of Plate, which seems as though we've just gone through a hell of a lot to get a broken piece of plate and we now have nowhere else really to go other than back out the way we came um, and again we've still not been presented with any any challenge or any guidance on where we're going and what we're doing next so we're literally just uh, going back. It seems a bit of a waste. This whole, this whole setup and everything else in here, for a piece of broken plate, it doesn't really hold any relevance to to the game itself, other than collecting all the pieces, I'd imagine. Um, but it hardly feels central to the to the actual story itself. Not that there there is a great deal of story. Um, very bizarre. And these guys out here, I mean, what's that about? You know, just a bunch of weirdos in black costumes lurking around. So we can't go down there. And... Right, there's another windmill over there. I guess that's possibly something else, is it? We could uh, explore. Hmm strange one. Let's have a look down here.
Okay, I don't really feel as though I'm achieving much at the moment. I just seem to be going round in circles again. Um, like I have done so many times in this uh, in this game since I started it. Um, I've said it so many times before, there is just such a lack of direction in um, trying to tell you where to go. You're supposed to have this fox who is your guide, um, but he never turns up when you need to be guided. Um, like I could use some guidance right now as a point in the right direction of where we're going and what we're going to do. Because right now, um, I'm just running around in circles repeating the same things that I've already done. Um, and not really accomplishing a great deal. So, yeah, I'm a bit of a loss here. I'm not sure what we're going to do and where we're going to go. There's nothing here at all. Okay. So, yeah, we've reached a, a dead end and uh, we did all of this before. All that's done, yeah. Zap the bird out of the sky, we did that bit. So what next? Right, um... We'll keep running around for a bit longer, I guess, until something comes up, hopefully. But it doesn't appear to be anything obvious at this stage, um... Maybe this, what's this? We haven't been to here before? Let's have a quick look at this. Is this something? Um... No, the entrance appears to be blocked with sand and... Oh, yeah, I've got eaten by the big bird again. Never misses an opportunity. Right, okay, so we need to make sure we stay under this cover. Stay under the cover of, um, darkness. Or out of the, um, light of the sun, we should say. Hmm, okay. I don't know why I think this is going to be any different, but there we go, we're eating it again, so we're not going there, that's that's a certainty. Um, guys, I may well be at a complete loss, this may be the end. We may have come as far as we can go, I've, I can't work out um, our next step. So, where, where are we going to go, what are we going to do? Well, we might have come to the end of the road. Well, that's a nice view. Um, not sure how it helps us, but you know, what's that there? I don't think we've been to that little outcropping um, of that ruined tower yet. So let's let's head over to that and have a look at this uh, this ruined tower. See if there's anything there that's going to um, help us gr progress forward. Um, because at the moment we are stuck. Okay, what have we got? Um, there's something definitely there. Something definitely there. Right, what we got here? Yeah. That's weird. It's a windmill toy thing. Right, okay. That does not help. That does not help at all. Hmm. Well, I think it's probably time to call it a day for this video. And, uh... Maybe next time I will do some digging and see where I go to progress on from uh, here because at the moment it looks as though I am completely stuck. So if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button so as you can have more boring videos like this one on the uh, next episode. Um, if you want me to continue with this video leave a uh, comment in the comment section because but the way things are at the moment, I'm not seeing a great deal of fun from this game. So, um, if you guys want me to continue with it, let me know. Otherwise, I may just bin it off as a loss and move on to something far more interesting and far more fun. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. And as usual, I will catch you on the next episode. Bye-bye.